What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is gonna to be something totally different. We got Gabe in the back right now throwing an underspin. He's gonna see if maybe he could catch a fish pretty quick here. We're not gonna be doing actual fishing with a rod and reel or anything like that. I purchased something pretty interesting and it should be a bit of fun to try to get a fish on it. And that is the brand new Nitro Z21. I am excited, I have been wanting to do a video like this for some time now and shoot, what perfect time than springtime. As you can see, we already did some renovating, took the front seat out, took the back seat out. I'm gonna be placing the GoPro right up front like this so that you guys get the best vantage point that you possibly can. So that if a bass jumps or something like that, you guys will be able to see it right there. It's almost as if you're on the freaking boat and you're watching the bass just jump right there. So I'm really, really excited. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting. The only bad part is, is I don't know how well this right here is gonna hold up. We're supposed to tie our line onto this little section right here. And uh, I don't know if that's gonna be able to hold up very well because some of the bass in here are pretty big, pretty good size. Only time will tell. And man, what a beautiful Z21 this is. We got a 110 pound Ultrex up front. We got a 175 horsepower motor in the back. So should be interesting. Bunch of compartments for your rods, reels, freaking all your storage for your baits and everything. Three seater, bunch of room on the deck. Multiple guys can fish on it and shoo. We're all going to get the vantage point as if we're all on the boat today. So it's going to be fun, going to be interesting. Let's get out there, let's see what we could do, and let's go crank some fish. Should I do a palomore knot? I don't even know what I should do. If I just do a ridiculous knot and wrap it around a gazillion times, this boat is going to sink. We're going to get like a four pounder and things are just going to drop. Looks like we're going to probably be taking a dive today. I hope we start off with like two solid fish, but nothing like giant. Yeah, and then, like a one and a yeah, like a one and a half, a two. Exactly. And then, if we think it can handle a five, a six, whatever, then go from there. And throw this fat packs, little fast swimmer right here, 3.8 inch sun gill. Awesome little color. You check it out right there. Make sure to use SW Fishing 101 in the link below. Get 15% off all of their products and shoot. Let's see if it works. Check that out right there. Bro, Juice. Bro. Oh my gosh. Gabe's on, guys. Dude, that's a chunk. That is a good one. If I get one of that, woo, it's a big right there. If I get a fish like that on the Z21 Nitro, game over. Yeah, yeah. You just picked up those Berkeley jigs too. Oh yeah, the brand new ones. A little flipping. Oh, get another yeah. look at that. That's a beautiful fish right there. A little green pumpkin jig. It's a finesse jig, so it has a thin wire hook. All green Wicked. pumpkin. Wicked. Hell yeah, let's get her back. Oh my god, that's so sketchy. That's so sketchy with the GoPro on. <laughs> Toss it out. You throw it out. Hoping that there's a little dink out there going to hit it. I think the line's wrapped around the, the, the propeller. Oh, 
bro, get him, bro, get him. Oh my gosh. Get up here. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. We got him. On the we got him on the jig, guys. We got him on the jig. That is insane. I was just running this thing. I've been running this freaking thing for probably about an hour now. Just having to drive a little bit, slow down, stop. Drive a little bit, slow down, stop. I've walked up and down this bank probably about five, ten times. And we finally freaking got this guy. It's absolutely incredible. Freaking awesome. That was insane. The second I was about to pull it in, I just see my line shooting out. And I see the boat start going backward a little bit. And I was like, Gabe, grab the camera, grab the camera. And then... I mean, shoot, you guys on the GoPro probably saw him jump a couple times. That was freaking wicked. That is such a nice fish, too. Holy crap. Sturdy fish. Really healthy, aggressive, mean fish. Man, this pond's awesome. Let's get him back in. Yes, sir. Oh, man, that is awesome. Dude, I want to see what that looks like on the GoPro. I might have to check it out right now because then that, that had to have been sick seeing him jump out of the water i really hope the gopro got that on footage because it would be absolutely incredible if it did but uh shoot let's try to get another because that was freaking insane all right guys so earlier we were up at a pond in scottsdale right now we're at a pond in chandler i decided to come back and try to catch a couple more fish on the rc boat over at this pond number one because i know that we should be able to catch a couple fish here number two because the sundown is the best bite when i was out earlier it was not the best by whatsoever i mean it was midday like noon it was hot and just muggy and it just it's not the best time to try to go and fish so i just figured you know what let's give it a shot now let's see what we could do let's see if we could get one more fish on the rc boat because earlier when we got the one it was freaking awesome so let's see what we could do hope you guys enjoy stay tuned and let's go get them come on come on you hit it you hit it you hit it Oh, we're going. We're going. We're going places, guys. Oh, my God. Dude, the whole boat stopped. <laughs> the whole boat. Oh, oh, bass. Bass is right behind you. Oh, my gosh. 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 He's got it. He's got it, guys. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he, he dropped. He dropped. Oh, my God. He's totally inhaling it, guys but he's just not sticking because it's extremely hard to get the hook set. We lucked out earlier with the one hook set. Oh, he's right there, see him? I'm gonna whip around, there. Oops, there it is. Again, again. What are we supposed to do to get this fish? Oh, he's on it. There it is. Oh, again. That bass, the biggest one falling. Oh, he's gonna hit it, he's gonna rip it, he's gonna rip it. He's right behind it. He's got it. Does he have it? Does he have it? Does he have it? Oh, he tell. hit it. I can't tell. No, he doesn't. See that guy? See that guy right there? Dude, this is a tug of war. To I'm terrified. Death. I'm so scared. I am terrified right now. My GoPro's on there. <laughs> it's true. You look like you're gonna jump in. <laughs> I'm about to. Bro. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. We got him, guys. We got him. Is my GoPro good? It's not even waterproof, but we're filming. We got him. <laughs> That's so sick. Oh my gosh, another one. See, and this is so much better, guys, because the first one, I wasn't able to actually get on film for you guys. He hit when we weren't on film. So to get this guy is freaking insane, is that this bass was jolting, jolting with everything he had. I mean, I'm sure you guys saw the freaking GoPro just flinging down on this camera. I can't imagine what it looks like on the actual GoPro. Oh my gosh, let's get him back in. Good fish right there. That is insane. 